Hi guys, hello. I have to remember not to minimise the PowerPoint window because uh, it makes your screens go black. So welcome, it's August. It's our August edition of the Rory Meg non-lockdown pub, pub quiz, I suppose. Um, and yes, good to be back. It doesn't feel like I've been away. I did a quiz, charity quiz last week, which I know a few of you attended. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Um, it's been a month, I think. Um, so before we do anything, before we go into any other stuff, um, let's look at these cryptics that I give you to start with. Let's jump back over to that cryptic page. Um, your cryptics tonight, they were... Right, so we've got females have permission, girls allowed. Girls allowed. Intercourse, sex, urinate is... Yeah, I won't say that word. Um, and payment for using the roses, toll, sex pistols. Sex pistols. Almost red is pink, not simply red, pink. Um, leaf in the water and the hexagonal key, Lily Allen. Lily Allen, an Allen key. And a type of jumper is a Cardi, and the maker is a B, Cardi B. And finally, the shiny urinates is black eyes, black eyed peas. Lots of urination tonight. <laughs> um, um, right, so those were your cryptics. Um, and let me just close them off. Oh, how many teams? 46 teams logged on at the moment. Don't know how many we'll get tonight. It'll be interesting after having had a month off whether people have come back, whether they've forgotten all about it, um, whether we're a distant memory of um, lockdown. Uh, but we'll see. Um, sneak peek of what we have tonight. Um, starting with general knowledge like normal, then we've got a picture around cars we've got our music around decades um taking dave's um oh thanks Gib. i'm getting told i'm frozen uh, press the wrong button there we go i'm back yeah so starting with general knowledge then cars we've got decades taking dave's idea um um of guess the year for the decades this not well guess the decade should i say guess the decade um we have food and drink sports stars pitch around we've got minimalist tv just because i've practiced so many times i can actually say minimalist now um we've got science and nature disney numbers and then finishing off your love it it's the bloodbath it is the bloodbath um so <laughs> Shaggy and Valm saying, I'm taking the pee with all those cryptics. <laughs> yep, yep, definitely. And so who have we got on tonight? Um, Kent Hoppers are playing. Team Nisbet back. All regulars, I assume, tonight. Um, two wise you are, we've got all low. No, you can't see. Let me switch over. The screen. There we go. Yeah, so um, we've got Team Nisbet back. Two wise you are, all alone. Um, Tequila Mockingbird playing Buttercups, Guesswork, Chalheath Chiefs. Oh, we've got Sarah and Steve, Quizimodo, Shaggy and Valmo. We've got Consistently Poop. Um, Nicholas over in Norway. Um, Hoof Hearty to playing The Other Ruckers. That's Ray and Marion. Um, we've got Logalouts back again. Um, Alex Scott and the gang. Five of them. Five of them on that team tonight playing Lisburn. Um, the Laurel Drivers are back. Robbo's playing Swallows. Um, hi to Ian. Um, we've got Berry 4 are back. Um, did wonder if I might see the Berry 4 in the pub, but they've not paid us a visit yet. Um, Morgana and the Inquisitors got lockdown colleagues. Whipping Mount Pleasant Pheasants just round the corner. Um, Mozza 51. There's Mod 51. Simply the best. We've got My Name is Eka and I rim the Olympic rings. <laughs> and you haven't all been back to the pub yet. Not happy with you. Um, this is the team that won my most loyal regulars and we've changed nights. We don't leave the house anymore. Don't know what's up with them. Come back. Come back to the pub. Um, been doing, what have we done? Two quizzes back in the Meg. Um, first one, reasonable. Yeah, um, it was start of the holidays and it was ridiculously hot, like stupidly hot up here. Um, last week's though, 
sold out. Every single table in the pub booked out, um, turning people away when people were phoning to book. So if you do want to join us this Thursday, um, then then do book a table, phone up, book. You can try and turn up on the night, but if last week's anything to go by, it was very, very busy. Um, safe, busy. Everyone distancing and sat at the tables and being sensible, but um, yeah, it was good. Um, we also did it on the app for the first time in the pub, uh, which was a mixed bag. Um, I didn't ever think people would say this, but we missed answering on paper when they're in there. So some of the teams liked using the app, others missed having the time and doing it on paper. So we're going to mix it up. Some weeks it'll be on the app up there, other weeks old fashioned answering on paper. Um, so pay me a visit up there anyway, come say hello. Um, so we've got Halug as well over in Norway. Uh, 40 Towers, the Lockdown Lovers, who came second in my charity quiz last week. We've got Home Alone. Um, D is back over in France. Dan Beth Claire, Becky, and Moody Moody over in Congleton. We've got Liz Axon. Um, that's what she said is playing. That's Liv over in Manchester. We've got Nicholas. And um, there he is. Who. Nicholas and Rue joined the charity quiz the other night, um, representing Norway. Um, we've got a serious quiz in this Durbrains Trust, there's Mark. We've got the Bitter Ends, my dad and Pat are playing. And um, Betty Swallows, we've got Fit and Oliver. Is that a combination team tonight? Um, number 40, Happy the Cat and Hal, who I had the pleasure of meeting um, last week, two weeks ago in the Meg. Um, they uh, joined. Yeah, Sharon joined. Um, and hopefully enjoyed it and won, I believe. Actually won that night. So they've got to come back, so they've got a food voucher spend in there. Um, I've got Quiz Bank, the self-isolation station. James Sorbo, face clap, Spanish Inquisition. That's Sally. In Coventry tonight, Sally. And um, we've got Ludwig. Um, Quiz Marple. There's Quiz Marple over in Norway. Happy the Cat House says they'll be back in the pub. Brilliant. Sharon's coming back. Um, Fit and Oliver is the Fittens with reinforcements. Fittens do well enough by themselves. I'm not sure they need any reinforcements. Um, we have, we well, so we got self isolation station done there. Quiz Marple, Stooley is back. Don't panic. Stefan's in. Camilla. Um, Runa's back. There's Runa and Nicholas. Hopefully, uh, you got your burgers in front of you, burger and chips. Um, we got Tone over in Norway as well. Um, Johnny from Norway. <laughs> Got loads of Norwegians tonight. Great. Um, <laughs> quizzically for fitness not witnessed. Fitness not witnessed. There's Gareth. Gareth, you sent me a message last week and I have been very rude and not responded only because it disappears off into a system I don't access very often. But I'm not ignoring you. I will reply. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, the messages to the Facebook page go into a business suite thing and... I just haven't had a chance to go on there since. Um, Lejo is playing. We are Smarticus. Um, without her, though. No smart no smart tonight. Um, where is she? Um, is she working? So it's Aaron, team member tonight. Um, we've got Smugsy playing our... Oh, I've lost track. Six-time champ. Um, Pan Solo is playing. The X-Brent's better late than never. That's got to be Rob. Yep. Um, Sweet Baby Cheeses, Sailor Beeves are back, the Doggies back, Smokey and the Bandit, DDBs, the Squires are in, who actually won on Thursday in the pub. Um, Some Road, Pam and Dave, and then Rollsies have just joined. Um, with that little one, I can't get the picture up, let's go off the screen. Um, Right then, so um, Runa um, says she's got a quiz burger today. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, we are Smarticus for that though. Samara's uh, scared after having to make coffees, so she made an excuse to work. So just me and John. Um, hope you have a good month. You have a very good month. Um, if I suddenly disappear tonight, my wife is due within two weeks, two and a half weeks. So anytime now, really. So yeah, I could suddenly just get a shout from next door saying, come on, we're going. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, Hopefully, by the time we do the September edition, I will have a, another baby in the house. Um, Nicholas says, people often ask me if I can tell them where I'm from. I tell them, no way. 
Brilliant, brilliant. I like that, Nick. I do like that. And Sally is in Derby tonight. Yeah, not in Coventry, in Derby. Um, are you with Jane Zoff tonight? Um, so we've got Cotton Town as well and Ivor Rubber. <laughs> right, let's see how many are played. 82 teams. See if we can creep up to 100. We've got another few minutes before we're starting. Um, so, like I said, the round we've got general knowledge and we've got picture round cars. Um, we've done these before, but different cars tonight. We've got decades. It is name the decades, not name the artist or title, name the decade. We have food and drink. Sports stars, that's a pitch around. We've got minimalist TV, um, science and nature, Disney, numbers, and then finishing off with the bloodbath. Have we got any newbies? I'm sure we've I'm sure everyone here tonight has played before. If you haven't, that's where you need to go. I'm sure you're all logged in. Um, if you're not, if you're watching on YouTube and you are play, go to play.ecker.uk up there. Um, got my finger first time. Um, only two, 65 weeks. Yeah, so go to that, log in. It'll say I'm waiting. It's that simple. Just wait until we start in approximately five minutes' time. Um, there are 50, as normal, multiple choice questions. It's split into 10 rounds, all of them one answer each, except the bloodbath round, which we'll discuss just before we get there. Uh, Quiz Marple, very happy for Disney. Um, Stefan, I'll aim for... Um, a hundred at half, hundred the half time as usual. Uh, Johnny from Norway is a newbie. Welcome, Johnny from Norway. Um, in case you didn't know, he's from Norway. Um, so Johnny, just you're obviously there because you're talking to me. So yeah, that's where you need to go. Um, it's that simple, Johnny. Just press the right button for the first forty-five questions. There's multiple choice. Just hit the right answer. That simple, you can't go wrong. The stream is about three seconds behind, maybe a bit more in Norway, I don't know. Um, normally about three seconds behind your app. So the questions will come through to your phone before I read them. It will ping, so make sure your volume's turned up. Um, Nicholas says, I'll aim for top 10 first three rounds, then 150th for the rest of the quiz. Come on, Nick, one day, one day you will do well in this. <laughs> one day you'll win. Um, yeah, and mentioning Disney, um, it is almost time for our annual Disney quiz. In the Meg, once a year, we have a whole quiz dedicated to Disney. Um, I haven't planned it yet just because I don't want to have to cancel it after I've advertised it um, if my wife goes into labour. So once the baby is here, then I will be planning the Disney quiz. So it will be within the next month at some point. Um, yeah. Also... Um, 93 teams now. I forgot what I was going to say. 93 teams. Does anyone messaging me? There we go. Um, Nick says, wasn't Labor Day about two months ago? <laughs> no, no. Um, holding off. I want to hold off another two weeks. That'd be ideal. Too busy at work to uh, stop now. <laughs> um, welcome back. Just seeing Kentish Pierce is back. Daniel's back. Um, still the only person to have featured in the quiz as a question, I believe. I don't think we've had any other team players featuring as questions accidentally. Um, so Chilton and the Wheels have just joined Thumb and Dumber. Uh, Ma, Pa and Son have just joined. I believe didn't Ma and Pa win the quiz last week, the charity quiz that I did. Um, congratulations, I'm sure they did win. Um, the Mario's are back with one of my mugs. You can still buy merch. Still, merchandise is still there. Um, Skittles is on. Um, Alfie and Linda are back. Um, me and Mr. C. There's Claire and her husband. Um, yeah, Kentish Pierce, Cake and Prosecco are playing. Ruth's playing over in Norway. Stan the Man and Dottie's mum and dad. Right, I'll give you two more minutes just for any late starts. We're up to 94 teams. 95 teams, let's see, has just joined us. X has just joined us. It's holiday season, so I assume there'll be less people this time. And also, it, people have got to get into the monthly thing. But maybe we'll pick up as the nights get darker later in the year. Right then, so one last time, just before we start, let's switch over to the 
for his question. Get the intense music on for Froze again. Um, round tonight, general knowledge, cars, decades, which is the music round, food and drink, sports stars, minimal, minimal, minimalist TV, science and nature, Disney, numbers, and bloodbath. And I'm pointing out there now, no gates this week. I've checked, I've checked, I've checked, I've checked. No gates. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, right. 96, 97. Oh, a couple of teams just come in. Don't Panic's just joined. And the Matthews family, who just joined. Right. Can we get up? 199 people playing tonight. 97 teams. We'll start when the clock hits 35, like normal. Just watching my clock. Right. Doesn't look like any more teams are coming. Let's make a start. I'll count down. Oh, one more team. <laughs> one more team. Three dings. You just made it. There they are. They just, just made it. Right. Are we ready? Let's start. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, which of these social media platforms was launched most recently? Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, or Twitter. Happy the Cat and Hal, James Sorbo, Stefan Rolsey's Tequila Mockingbird. That's what she said. Or getting that one correct. Fastest. Happy the Cat and Hal. Here we go. 85% of you getting that one right. Yep, Snapchat. Snapchat is the most recent of them. Nobody went for Facebook. One person went for Twitter. Twitter, I think, probably. As old? Older than Facebook? And 14% went Instagram. But no, it was Snapchat. So happy the cat and Hal in top place. Um, just for Johnny from Norway, the faster you answer, if you're tied on points, the higher up the leaderboard you will be. Oh, let's take a look at the little baby. There we go. Congratulations. <laughs> right. Next one, number two. Where were the last Winter Olympics held? Pyeongchang, South Korea, Sochi in Russia, or Oslo in Norway? Or also in Norway, as I've written. <laughs> Sorry, Norwegians. Um, Quizimodo, Baz and Rachel, Quiz Khalifa, Ludwig, Halg, Quiz Eubank, Sunroad, and Johnny from Norway, all getting this one. Um, Pyeongchang, Sochi, or Os Os also, as I've written. Um, it's Pyeongchang. 56% of you getting that one right. Yes. Yeah. South Korea. Um, two people went Norway. Hopefully not the Norwegians. Um, Sochi was four years before Pyeongchang. So Quizimodo now up in Lee. Then Halg. Fitness not witnessed. Um, we've got Sun Road. Berry 4. Ludwig. Mozza 55. Basim Rachel. Featuring the... Northern Taffies tonight, the joint forces. Oh, there's a force to be reckoned with. Rollsies and Smugsy in the top 10. Number three. Which of these is not a droid in Star Wars? BB 8, R2 D2, CTPO, or K2SO? Not a Star Wars droid that is featured in a Star Wars film. Pan Solo. <laughs> like it, like it. I'm glad to see Pan Solo got this one. So the Quiz Eubank, Quizimodo, Ruth, Smarticus, and Fitness Not Witnessed. <laughs> so yeah, Pan Solo said, had to be me, right? Had to be, had to be. Um, yeah, it's C3PO, not CTPO. Um, for those that went K2SO, K2SO is the droid in Star Wars Rogue One. R2-D2 is obviously R2-D2, and BB-8 is in the new films. Um, so it's C-3PO, not C-T-P-O. So, any change at the top. Fitness not witnessed now in second. Um, we have how many teams on three out of three? 32 teams on three out of three. Out of 100 teams now online tonight. Hundreds. I'll be 101. Someone joining late. Spanish Inquisition said, assumed it was one of your spelling mistakes. 
<laughs> Jeff saying, uh, Pan Solo, what a great quiz team name it is. I like that one. Um, number four. Um, in which country did karaoke singing originate? China, Japan, or Italy? Hell. Um, James Orbo, Shaggy and Velma, Happy the Cat and Hell, Sweet Baby Cheezers, and Fitness Not Witnessed is up there on the fastest finger. 1.78 seconds. That was Halg over Noi. So that is Japan. 95% of you getting this one right. Um, yeah, karaoke. I didn't know what it meant. Um, surely someone on here does message me. So Matic says, C-E-P-M. Um, Oh, Nick saying C4PO, the explosive droid. Um, yeah, not one of my spelling mistakes. It was the wrong answer. That's it. Yeah, loads of people coming up with the karaoke empty orchestra. That is what it means. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, that is. Suddenly come back to me. Empty orchestra. Right, Quizimodo still in the lead. One last one on this round. Who is this famous Cuban revolutionary? Fidel Castro or Che Guevara? Nicholas straight and looks a bit like him. Could could even be Nicholas in the picture. Look at him there. <laughs> Definitely could be. Quiz Eubank, Johnny from Norway, Dearbrains Trust, Ruth and Smugsy. Yeah, it's Che Guevara. Put a set of glasses on him though in his neck. Um He's from Argentina, not Cuba. Is he? Ooh, let's not do that. Um, let's have a look. Che Guevara. Oh, he was born in Argentina, okay. But he was, yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Oh, well. Um, he was based in Cuba. Come on. Um, Right, that is the end of that round. Next round at the end of that um, is Quizmodo, sorry. Next round is cars. So I'll show you a picture of a car. Um, famous cars. Just name the car. Hopefully these cars are all popular in Norway. They're famous enough that they should be. Fingers crossed. Right, number six. Which company makes this car? Is it Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, Mercedes? Come on, a car like that. It doesn't matter where you live. Pan Solo. Quickest again, Skittles, Whipping, Mount Pleasant, Pheasants, Don't Panic, Doggies Back, and Rollsies. All the quickest on this one. Right, that's Ferrari. And 91% of you getting this. I did give you some clues. I've left the badge on for a start. Didn't take the badge off. Um, yeah, that is a Ferrari. Don't know what Ferrari. Yep, it has, don't panic, it says logo helps. Yes, subtly left your logo is a bit of a clue there. It's mainly because I forgot to take it off. <laughs> um, so, Quizimodo, Quiz Eubank, Fitness Not Witnessed, Smugsy, Sweet Baby Jesus, Ludwig, Rollsies, Kent Hoppers, Cotton Town Next Breads are your top 10. Um, Falling Duck says three badges I bought. Yep, um, it's only useful if you know that's the Ferrari badge. <laughs> Right, we're ready for the next one, number seven. Uh, what's the name of this car? First letter, B, G, M, D. Skittles, getting this one. Self-isolation station, James Sorbo, Liz Axon. Um, that's her name, sound very similar. Nice, her name is Exxon with an E. Um, Pantolo, Alfie and Linda and Valiant Ducks, all getting that. Um, Martica says, what about V? V, well, it's a beetle. It's a VW beetle, but it's a B. It's a beetle. Only one person got that wrong. God, we're so close. So close to the 100%er. We had 300% in Lee Joe. I'm calling you out. <laughs> Lee Joe. Oh, no. 99%er. Um, yeah, we had 300% in the pub the other night, but then there were 15, 16 teams. 70 teams, something like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, number 18. Are we ready? So, number eight. What company makes this car? Is it Bentley, Porsche, Jaguar, or Lotus? Baz and Rachel. 
Whipping, Pantolo, Self-Isolation Station, Halg, Mount Pleasant, Pheasants and Fitness Not Witnessed. All getting this. My mate's got one of these. But what is it? 87% of you know it's a Lotus Elise. A Lotus. Yeah, Lotus Elise. Any change? Oof. Oof, we lost. Smugsy. Wow, Smugsy went poor. Should they have dropped down? Brendan's dropped down 31 spots from that one. My God. 31 spots. Um, that's not good. There are now... Where are we up to? 22 of you on 8 out of 8. Well, the Rucker is saying another badge. I know, but it's only useful if you know what the badge is. I can't even see that badge. I wouldn't have a clue. Um, next one. Um, what car is this? Fiesta, Golf, Renault 5, Peugeot 206. Um, James Sorbo, Whippy, and Self Isolation Station, Fitness Hot Witness, Legio, Shaggy, and Valma all getting this one. And uh, yeah, probably doesn't help that I've left another badge on. <laughs> Did do these in a rush. Well, when I say a rush, it was 5 o'clock yesterday morning when I was sat with my son watching Paw Patrol or something. Um, yeah, that is a golf. Golf. So, um, yeah. Old golf, but it is a golf. Even left the badge there for you. It's the GTI version as well. Flash car. Bet a few people on here had one then back in the day. So, no major changes. Right, all right, number 10. Hopefully you have the Golf in Norway. And number 10. Uh, what company makes this car? BMW, Audi, Mercedes, Nissan. I removed the badge, finally. Removed the badge. That's what she said. The Valiant Ducks, Pan Solo, Home Alone. Consistently poop and fitness not witnessed. Or... Okay, in that one. Um, who's quickies? That's what she said in 1.57 seconds. That is an Audi TT. Always wanted one then back in the day. Always desperately wanted an Audi TT. But I never drive anywhere. My car sits on the drive, so don't spend money on one anymore. So, yeah, Audi TT. Right, so at the end of that round, um, what have we got? Quizimodo have dropped on that last one. Fitness Not Witnessed have jumped up into the top spot that's gareth playing by himself over in mac uh, we've got quizimodo then quiz eubank sweet baby cheeses cotton town rollsies me and mr c the experts ludwig kentish pierce my name's Eka, and alfie and Lindsay in your top 12. Lagerlout says hates cars well don't worry Lagerlout, because the next round is music which i'm sure everyone hates even more so just for johnny from norway was it Johnny? I think it was Johnny. Johnny from Norway. Um, next round is a music round, so turn your volume up. The sound comes out of the stream. It will be a few seconds behind, but it comes out of your phone or whatever you're playing on. Um, you can pause it if you want or re-listen. There's little buttons that appear. Um, this is decades, so for each one of these songs, I don't want the artist or title tonight. I want you to name the decade that the song was released. Okay, we've done it before, Dave Berry's idea. Um name the decade that the song was released um are you all ready nice and simple here we go number 11. you hear me so clearly and see how i try you feel me so heal me and tell me I thought the sound had gone funny then. My headphone was only half plugged in. <laughs> That'd be why. That would be why my headphones have sounded very, very tinny tonight. My headphones are only half plugged in. Um, what decade was that released in? Eighties, nineties, or noughties? What do we reckon? Um, it was the nineties. Sixty-three percent of you getting that right. Um, and that was wet, wet, wet. Good night, girl. Um, wet, wet, wet. Good night, girl. Released in. I've got this written down. 1992, I believe. Um, let me check. Yeah, 1992. Um, wet, wet, wet. Good night, girl. 
Right then. Fitness Not Witness holding the lead. Are we ready for the next one, number 12? So what decade was that song released in? 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s? Shaggy and Valma, the quickest 3.3 seconds. Um, Fitness not win, it's Happy the Cat and Hal. That's what she said. Smugsy and James Sorbo all getting that. But which decade? Yeah, 60% of you getting this one right. Um, it was the Knack and my Sharona, 1979. So if you want 80s like Quizimodo, you are close, but 1979. Um, we've had Quizimodo. Look at the big drops here. Quiz Eubank, Ludwig, Sweet Baby Jesus, Kentish Pierce, all dropping down. Massive amounts from that. Um, so some big jumps up. Valiant Jucks and Chagging Valma and Swallows jumped up nine spots on that one. Number four, he's jumped up 10. Wow. Wow. Now let's have a look at Jeff's graph. Slowly climbing. Right then, next one. Are we ready? Right. Name of the decade, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s. When was that released? Um, Dan Beth, Claire, Becky, Moody, Moody with the quickest 4.7 seconds. 4.07 seconds. Um, so. Right. That was 2010s. Yeah, it was in 2015. I thought it was a lot later than that. Really, the original version was 2013, but yeah, 2015. I would have gone 2017, but yeah, 2015. Um, it was Omi and Cheerleader. Omi and Cheerleader. So no change in the top five, four, should I say. Um, Home Alone crept up. Lockdown Colleagues have crept up. Kent Hoppers. Barry Four have just dropped down 14 points there. So the Swallows. So Quizimodo. Um, right, next one, number 14. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Some call me the gangster of love. Some people call me Maurice. Because I speak of the pompous of love. Right, so I'm going on a smugsy team. Nisby, Cotton Town, Whipping, and Log. That's all getting this one. Um, makes me think was it a Levi's advert? That's why it became popular, Levi's jeans advert. Um, but it was released in the 70s. Oof. Rosie's gone, Experts have gone, Kent Hopper, Shaggy and Valma, Valiant Ducks, oh, loads of red. It was 1973, Steve Miliband, Joker, released in 1973. Obviously became very famous in the, I think it was the 80s, maybe, yeah, I'd say 80s, not 90s. Um, for the Levi 501 ad, thanks Jeff. Yeah, it was Levi 501s. Um, very famous advert at the time. Right then, your last decade, you will be glad to know. Here we go, number 15. You'll never know how I watched you from the shadows as a child. So 70s, 80s, 90s, or noughties, consistently poop in four seconds. Um, actually, tone, 2.36 seconds was the quickest. Um, we've got Baz and Rachel, them fitness not witnessed, um, and Stefan Shaggy and Valman, number 40, getting that. It was the 90s, 58% of you. Yeah, it's Goldeneye. Goldeneye, Pierce Brosnan's first Bond film, sung by Tina Turner in 1995, Baz and Rachel saying, yep. Um... <laughs> Nicholas say, can we restart the music round? It could, but I'll give you a whole different ones, Nick. Um, that was tough, wasn't it? 
That was tough. That has wiped people out. Three teams after that on 15. And you can blame Dame Be- uh, bleh, bleh, blame Dave Berry for it because it was Dave's idea. Yeah. Nothing to do with me. All Dave's idea. Right. Let me enable this music back. Right. So what have we got now? Food and drink. Back to normal questions. Food and drink. Who's ready? Number 16. Which vegetable do Americans call zucchini? Cucumber, aubergine, courgette, sweet potato. Smarticus, wow. Smarticus in 0.68 seconds. That is a fast time. James Sorbo, that's what she said. Mount Pleasant, pheasants, Quizimodo, and D. All getting that right as well. Aubergine is a courgette. 75% of you getting that right. For the 20 that went aubergine, um, so zucchini is a courgette. Um, God, my brain isn't working tonight. For the 20 people that went aubergine, aubergine is an eggplant in America. Nick's saying, is there a spot lower than 97th? Is that where you are, Nick? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's two teams below you. There are two teams below. Um, yeah. Mm, not doing very well tonight, Nick. <laughs> Right, number 17. The words cappuccino and espresso or espresso are from what language? Italian, French, German, Spanish. James Sorbo, Runa, Stefan, Smugsy, Shaggy, and Valman D game. This Runa is smashing it tonight over Nicholas. <laughs> so. Oh, gosh, 99% of you getting that and one got it wrong. Who got it wrong? Do we call them out? Pam and Dave went German. <laughs> Nick said it wasn't him this time. Um, no, um, it's Italian. Cappuccino is Italian. Um, so, yeah, cappuccino and espresso are Italian. Not a trick question. They are Italian. So fitness not witness still holding the lead now. Me and Mr. Seen home alone. Then Rollsies. Ooh, catching your mum. Catching your mum there, Dan. Right, number 18. What's the name of the dip consisting of yogurt and cucumber? Tarim masalata, hummus, tzatziki, or guacamole? Nick got in the fastest finger. He knows this one. Um James Sorbo, Nicholas, that's what she said. Stefan, Skittles, and Happy the Cat and Hal getting this. James Sorbo in 1.98 seconds. And for anyone who was on my quiz the other night when I was moaning about a beep, I don't know if you just heard it, it's still going. Something in my office is beeping. I do not know what it is. It's driving me mad. It just keeps beeping. Um, can't find it. Nick's now moved up to 95th. Well done. Anyway, that's Tatsiki. Tatsiki. Um... So, yeah, yogurt and cucumber is tzatziki. Right, no change at all in the top 12. We've got three teams still on 18. Next one, number 19. What gives traditional Bellini cocktail its flavour? Strawberry, mint, mango, peach. The traditional, original Bellini. What is it? Um, James Sorbo, that's what she said, Mount Pleasant Pheasants, Shaggy and Velma, Happy the Count of House, Spanish Inquisition, Mozza, all getting this. Uh, Rune says, um, Rune wants to know, what cordial am I drinking? Um, is it homemade or is it store-bought? It is. Um, Sainsbury's own brand, uh, apple and black currant juice. Yeah, it's lovely. And I have to, because I talk so much, I come in with two, as well as a cup of tea. <laughs> Plus so much, I'm peeing all night on a Monday night um, after this. Anyway, it was Peach, 79% of you got it. Consistently, Poop says, we're coming for you, Nick, they're at 84th. Um, fitness Not Witness, don't, oh, Fitness Not Witness, just missed that. Uh, Gareth Drop doesn't drink many cocktails. <laughs> um... It's drop me and Mr. C. Take your screenshot, Claire, um, in the top. <laughs> right then. Um, we're saying the um, the 
black current people should sponsor me. They should, definitely. Do get through a lot of it. Right, 20. What is pancetta? What is pancetta? I hope I've pronounced that right. Cocktail, type of bacon, a dessert type of cheese. Um, <laughs> just seeing your message, Gimbo. I'm not reading it out. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Um, commenting on my nice new toolbox in the background. Um, right. Anyway, pancetta, type of bacon. I don't know what makes it special. Why it's not just bacon. Is it smoked or... <laughs> I don't know, cured? Is it cured bacon? Um, surely someone will tell me on the chat. Well, anyway, that's the end of food and drink. 86% um, of you got that. Me and Mr. C in the top spot at the end of that round. Um, can they hold it for another pitch round? Next is Sports Stars. So this next round, they are photos of famous sports stars. Um, very famous sports stars. All you do name the sports star I think to make it more difficult are they the first letters yeah read the question just read the question on these it'll explain it okay just read the questions um here we go number 21 um, what's the name of this sports star first letter first name K E S B K E S or B Quizimodo Quiz Khalifa Quiz Eubank um James Sorbo, Lee Joe and Squires all getting that one quick. Yeah, that is S83% you're getting. It's Simone, is it Biles? Bills? Biles? Not sure how you pronounce his surname. Um, the American gymnast who's been causing controversy for backing out and then coming back and backing out and coming back to the gymnastics. Um... So me and Mr. C went K. Don't know who they thought it was, but they've dropped down from first spot. Didn't hold it for long. She has as uh, smart as the whitest teeth ever. She does. <laughs> um, Home Alone is in the lead now on 21 points. Just Home Alone up there. 21 points. Home Alone previous winners, I believe. Won twice. All right, 22. Name this sports star. First letter of the first name, N M L C. Quiz Khalifa, Lijo, Quiz Eubank, Consistently Poop, Pam and Dave, and Self Isolation Station. Or getting this one. He is very famous, hopefully in Norway as well as Britain. Um, 92% you're getting is Mo Farah. Mo Farah M. Mo Farah. Very four. Very forward and gate. Come on, guys. <laughs> um, so, we well, thought that would be 100%. Nope, 92%. Um, very four misclicked on that one. So we say, misclicked. Fat fingers. Fat fingers, right. Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> next says it's no farrer for you, Dave. No farrer. Right, next one. Um, name this sports star. First letter of their surname. First letter of their surname. T E W H. Quizimodo, Lockdown Lovers, Violent Duck, Sweet Baby Cheeses, Inquisitors, and number 40. All getting this. Glad people are reading the questions. Or are you? Or are you cursing me now? Um, that is Tiger Woods. 39% of you are going Tiger. Ask for his surname. And his first name's not Tiger anyway. It's Alwood. So, is it Alwood? I think it's Alwood. Dottie's mum and dad didn't read the question. Purposely said at the start of the round, read the question. Because I knew this one was going to catch out. <laughs> because, as far as I saying, grow up. I love it. I love it. There's a reason why I went surname on this one. It's because of... I thought people would go Tiger. Then people have known saying his name's not Tiger. It's is he it, is he Alwood? Oh, what is his name? Someone tell me. Um Tiger Woods, what's his name? It's not Alwood, it's something. It starts with an E. Aldrick. Aldrick, there we go. There we go. Um So <laughs> Um So I went with his surname and yeah. So Home Alone, their stay in the top spot didn't last long. Um, Jonathan Williams, uh, Jonathan saying Ald Aldrich, yeah, Aldrich. 
Um, <laughs> as Martin says, his last name's Twuds. Twuds. <laughs> right, are we ready? Next one. Read the questions. Name this sport start. First letter, first name. D W C L. What is his name? That's what she said. My name's Eka. Quiz Khalifa. James Sorbo. Quiz Eubank and Sweet Baby Cheeses. If at the start of a round, for future reference, I tell you to read the questions, there's a reason why I'm telling you to read the questions. Just remember that. Right. See, that's Conor McGregor. Um, MMA fighter. Um, Conor McGregor. So, fitness not witness. Rollsies. Kentish Pierce climbed back up to third. Home Alone. Simply the best. Smugsy. X Brent. Sweet Baby Cheeses. Barry Four. Lockdown Lovers. Dear Brain. Trust and Alfie and Linda. Um, do well. It's a bit of a. Got a bit of a macro four leaderboard going on up here tonight. Um, yeah. Kentish Pierce has bounced. Ooh, dropped down. Managed to quickly climb back up though. Right, next, number 25, last one before the half time. Um, name this sports star D N R P, first letter of first name. Thumb and Dumber, Quizimodo, the Inquisitors, Quiz Khalifa, my name's Eka, and number 40, all getting this one. So, who is this? It's Novak Djokovic, if that's how you pronounce his name. Um, Novak Djokovic. Um, <laughs> next day, it's Rudolph. He has got a very red nose on there, hasn't he? Very red nose. Um, right, so that's halfway point. At the halfway point, um, Fitness Not Witnessed is in the lead. Um, dropped his lead. Managed to pull it back, though. Did very well tonight. Then we've got... You can have a urination break, Nick. Yep, it is urination break time. Um, you've got a minute, so be quick. Um, Rollsy's in second. Kentish Pierce, simply the best. Home Alone, Smugsy, X Brent, Sweet Baby Cheeses, Berry Four, Lockdown Lovers, Alfie and Linda, Durs Brains, Trust. Or. Doing well there. Just bear with me one second. Right. Um. Yeah, Berry Four, Lockdown Lovers, Alfie and Linda, Durs Brains, Trust, those top 12. Who is it? 50. It's about halfway tonight, isn't it? Mount Pleasant, Pheasants at about the halfway mark. Smarticus just down at 55. Got Ludwig and Cotton Town 51 52. Where's Nicholas? Joy from Norway doing well. 78th. Beating Nick, who's not having the best night tonight. And Shaggy and Valma. Um, not having the best night tonight. Shaggy and Valma, too. Um, we've got Pat and Don. Uh, that's my dad. Uh, 84th on 17. So. Tequila Mockingbird saying, who is he? Uh, Novak Djokovic? Is that how you pronounce his name? Right. Okay. Are we ready? Is everyone back from the toilet? Everyone back for our next round, which is Minimalist TV. He's a tennis player. Um, yeah, he's a tennis player, sorry. Tequila Mockingbird. He's a very famous tennis player. Um... Right, next round, yeah, Minimalist TV. I will show you a picture of a minimalist poster for a TV show. Johnny, thank you. Can you give some extra hints, please? That'd be giving it away, Johnny. Um, this one, nice and easy, doesn't need any extra hints. Um, TV poster for a film show done minimally style. Name the TV show. Um, first letter of the TV show. Um, I think it is. Let me just double check. First letter of the TV show. If the TV show starts with the, don't include the. We know this by now. We've been doing it 65 weeks. Never include the. Always go with the main words. Okay. Next one then. Number 26. Name the TV show. C-B-O-D. What is it? C-B-O-D. Quiz Eubank. That's what she said. Baz and Rachel. Number 40. Nicholas and Sweet Baby Cheeses. All getting this. Quiz Eubank in 1.67 seconds. It's B, Breaking Bad. 84% of you getting that one right. Breaking Bad. Logal outs. First people in the leaderboard to get that one wrong. Yeah, there's the 
started watching it actually just before a few weeks ago um, before Love Island took over um, we were started Breaking Bad I think we were about five episodes in never seen it before it's good right next one number 27 name the TV show this is a fantastic show HMS or R one of my favourite shows it's superb um, Quizzy Bank, Dan, Beth, Claire, Becky, Moody, Barrio, Skittles, Quizzy Modo, and Pan Solo. Um, all getting this one right. It is a Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Um, if you've never watched it, give it a go. It is very difficult to watch the first couple of series. You know, it's not the easiest, most relaxing thing to watch. Um, but it's worth sticking with it gets so good so no change again at the top oh we have lost someone Alfie and Linda have dropped down 9 they went M I don't know what they thought it was um, but they've dropped down right next one name the TV show F-O-E-G Quizimodo, number 40. Quiz Eubank, don't panic. Valiant Ducks consistently proven the Inquisitors all getting this one. Which is it? It is Golden Girls. Jeez, the Golden Girls. <laughs> Nick saying Ab Fab. No, that is Golden Girls. A bit old for Ab Fab. Um, yeah, American TV show from the 80s, I would say, 90s. I'm sure you all know the Golden Girls. Um, right, we have five teams on 27 now. 27 out of 28. <laughs> Rune is saying, is it the Spice Girls without Jerry? Could well be now. And uh, Nick's saying, is it not the Cosby show? <laughs> no, definitely not the Cosby show. Right, number 29. Name the TV show. T-H-M-O-S. Don't panic, Quizimodo. That's what she said. Skittles, Quizubank, Sun Road, Rollsies. Or oh, getting this one. Um, if you've watched it, obvious. If you've not watched it, probably haven't got a clue. Um, but if you've ever watched this TV show, seeing the intro to it, this will be quite easy. Oof. But it's not. It's a difficult one. Um, it's two and a half men. Two and a half men. Um, yeah. Um, if you've ever seen... Let me show you. Yeah. Two and a half men. Let's see if there's a poster. I'm not going to show it now, is it? Oh, it's not getting seen. Anyway, there it is. Um, but they sing to microphones at the start. There they are. There they are. Two and a half men. So, yeah, that's it. So, Smartic saying that was hard. And we've got, still got one more to go. Still got one more to go. Um, next. 30. Name the TV show. First letter. D Z W T. Hopefully this is an easy one. Liz Jackson, T Nisby, Mario's Logout, Happy the Cat and Hal, and Shaggy and Velma two all getting this one. So what is it? Oof! Wow, I thought this was such an easy one. It's Doctor Who. This is Doctor Who. Um, it's Pete Davidson, Doctor Who. I am on type in tonight. There he is, look at him. With his little jumper. That is Doctor Who. Oh he can't. Yeah. Um Rolsey said the signal went. Oh no! That's how they got that wrong. That's dropped him down. Um Everyone says there's so many of them. She doesn't know, so many of them. Anyway, that's Doctor Who. So, at the end of that round. Fitness Not Witness still in the lead. Smugsy, Rollsies, Berry 4, Kentish Pierce, Dursbrain's Trust. Simply the best. Home Alone, Laurel Drivers, all on 28. 
Um, Dan Pine says, all depends if you've seen the old series and consistently Poop says, we are doing not great. I won't say the word that he said. Not great. Um, yeah, loads of teams, top nine teams all time tonight. Loads of teams on 27, 26 as well. Very close quiz. Very close quiz. Right, next one. Science and nature. It's got the brains going on science and nature. Which bird is this? Kiwi, dodo, ostrich, emu. James Sorbo, 1.82 seconds. Um, don't panic, quiz you bag, quizzy modo. Chris Khalifa, Contown, Squires, Skittles, all getting this one. Which bird is it? It's a dodo so close again. <laughs> to kill the mockingbird says it's a dwarf ostrich. It is a dodo. One person went kiwi, one person went emu. Fitness not witnessed has dropped eight spots. Dropped from the top by again emu. It's a dodo. Who else do we lose? Somewhere down here. Self isolation station went kiwi. Nick thought he was a llama. <laughs> this is why you're doing so bad, Nicholas. Right, next. Sm oh, Smugsy in the lead. It's all jumped about. I'll have a look at the leaderboard after this one, but Smugsy's taken the lead. 32. How many muscles are there in a human finger? None. One, two, three. Halg, Quizubank, Alfie and Linda, Shaggy and Valma, Team Nisby, and Smokey and the Bandy. Or getting this. How many muscles are in your finger? Sixty-seven percent gain. There's none. You don't have any muscles in your finger. You've got ligaments, um, of which I've destroyed a couple in my fingers, um, snowboarding. But um, yeah, no muscles in your finger. Um, so sweet baby cheeses didn't answer, and um, lockdown lovers got them wrong. They went two. Because made a three. Valiant ducks one. No, no, you don't have any muscles in your finger. Fitness not winning the same way. I was rot <laughs> on the emu. On the dodo. Right, number 33. Is a supernova the birth or death of a star? Supernova, birth or death of a star. Mount Pleasant Pheasants, Runa, Shaggy and Valma, Quiz Khalifa, Quizimodo, and Guesswork. All getting these ones. It is the death of a star. 69% of you getting this one. Kenty Spears dropped four. Dear Brains Trust, simply the best did. Laura Drivers did. People jumped all over the place. Went from nine teams being on equal points to just four teams now. They are Smugsy, Rollsies, Berry Four, and Home Alone. But we've got loads of teams on 30, eight teams on 30 points. And we've got a bloodbath to come. There are some big points and small points in this bloodbath tonight. So let's see if that will have an effect. Berry 4, you haven't got your medal on tonight. Different device. There you go. Let's award you. Ignore the X-Brents. X-Brents three times, champs. So, got some, quite a lot of previous winners up in this leaderboard tonight. Um, right, one, no two more for this round. 32. They force, should I say. Um, how many teeth does a full-grown human adult have? 28, 30, 32, 34. Chrissy Modo, Baz and Rachel, D, Cotton Town, Sweet Baby Cheeses, Dan, Beth, Claire, Becky, Mo uh, Moody, Moody, and Fitness Not Witnessed. Or oh, getting this in two seconds. And I also gave you the answer just before I read the question. It's 32. <laughs> I saw the question just went 32 instead of 34. Um, yeah, 32 teeth. Yeah, I've had to go to the dentist today, but I've only started at tea time getting some feeling back in my face. I had to have a feeling where I chipped a tooth. Um, and now the inside of my lip there is all bitten to hell because for about three hours I could not feel a thing. I must have been munching away on my lip without realising. Um, um, Smartic says, not wrong, I, I have 33 teeth, that's that Aaron, 33 teeth, one a billion chance, he's a, he's a mutant, he's got 33 teeth, <laughs> I've got, I've got 28, because I've had my wisdom teeth taken out, right, anyway, next one, 
35. Um, what's the largest internal organ in the human body? Heart, lungs, liver, brain. The largest organ in the human body is the skin. But what's the largest internal organ? Two eyes are the quickest in 2.5... Sorry, 4.59 seconds. Marpa and Sun. Morgana. Singcho Serendicho. Um, that's the liver. Oof, oof. Do we class that as a bloodbath? I don't know. It's normally under 40, but I'm going to give it. I'm actually going to give it as a bloodbath. Wow, 40% getting that one right. That has shaken things up a little bit. That really has shaken things up for a bloodbath. We've got Barry Four now jumped into the lead. Home alone in <laughs> in second. Smugsy, Baz and Rachel, Rollsies, ex brent Dear Brains, Trust, Jolton the Wheelers, Law Driver, Fitness Not Witness, Kenty Pierce, and Simply the Best in your top 12. Um, but the points are so, so close tonight. The bloodbath will decide this. Right. Or well, maybe this round will decide it. Um, confession. We've had this round before. It is a music round with a difference. Um, I'm repeating it because we had it very, very early on during lockdown. And we have so many new people playing that they've never seen it and those of you that have seen it will not remember it um or you won't remember the answers anyway um so this is disney songs played by kelly fletcher on the xylophone okay so all you need to do is name the disney film the song is from the song is played by kelly fletcher from the fletcher's team um on her xylophone um the clips will play on YouTube. Hopefully, they'll play on your phone on YouTube. If they don't, they should play on the stream. Um, you've got 35 seconds for these, as far as I'm aware. Just name the Disney film. You can have full control. I'll play it a few times for you. Here we go. So, uh, what Disney film? Here it is again. Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Jungle Book. Round Pheasant, Pheasant, Baz and Rachel, that's what she said to kill the Mockingbird, Sweet Baby Jesus, whipping in number 40, getting this. Um, Smugsy says, I don't think I'm going to like this round. <laughs> um, Stafford says, you and your xylophones. Uh, it's 88% of you got it, though. It's Aladdin, a whole new world from Aladdin. Fitness not witness saying, is that a glockenspiel or a marimba? I think it's a xylophone, isn't it? Might be wrong. Isn't xylophone the metal one? Surely we know this. We've done it that many times. I lose track. <laughs> I'm sure it is a xylophone. But I could be wrong. It could be a glockenspiel. Aren't glockenspiels wooden? Who knows? Um, right, name the next Disney film. Does everyone remember this? Can you remember doing this? Or did it come that early that loads of you have joined since? Here we go, 37. Right, Snow White, Frozen, The Lion King, or Sleeping Beauty. Right, so apparently Glockenspiel is metal and the other is wood. Um, right, so it must be on a Glockenspiel then that she's playing. Um, so, we should know this. I've asked this these music instrument questions so many times. Um, but what was that? That was Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? 89% of you getting it. See, even Smugsy got that one. But Gareth didn't think there's not winners. Um, drop down five. Very for holding that lead. The kids will be useful in this one. So, um, yeah, we got... Ooh, yeah. So close. So, so close tonight. Even down to 35, they're on 31 points. A bloodbath could mix this up completely tonight. Got some great bloodbath questions for you. Um, 38.
Oh, I mixed. I put the wrong one. Second, I put the. <laughs> I'll pause that. Don't listen to the second clip. Um, Cinderella beating the beast, Lion King, Little Mermaid. What was it? Consistently poop. That must be Keely getting that one. It's Little Mermaid. That was the hardest one, I think. I don't even know what the song's called. Um. I'm sure someone's going to tell me. Um, but Laurel Drives in Gate, Fitness Not Witnessed. Oh, Gareth's having a nightmare with this round. He's dropped down another seven. Um, Smugsy dropped down five. Um, yes, yeah, tough one that one was. Really tough one. Do people remember these? It was a long time ago now. Right, number 39. Is that Moana, Milan, Tarzan, or Beauty and the Beast? Tequila Mocky Mir, that's what she said. Dan, Beth, Claire, Becky, Moody, Moody, Quizzy Bank, Barry Four, Chilton, Louise, and Rollsies all on the fastest finger for this. It's Moana. 66% of you getting this one right. Moana. Tough, tough. Easy if you know Disney films. Tough if you don't. Um, don't worry, though. Only one more to go. So, this is destroying Gareth. He's been doing so well. It's uh, The round has absolutely destroyed him. Um, Kill Mockingbird says it pays to have a kid. <laughs> yep. Um but yeah, as Nick says, they're expensive the rest of the year, but pays tonight. Number 40. All right, so that's Superman, Star Wars, Spider Man, Toy Story. Dan, Beth, Claire, all oh, the quickest there, 6.59 seconds. But oh, then Team Nisbeat, Tequila Mockingbird, Quiz Khalifa, Baz and Rachel, and Happy the Cat and Hal. Bit of a cheat, Disney, owned by Disney now. Um, it's Star Wars. Jeff says, I wonder how many people will be watching old quizzes and research for next time. <laughs> oh. Log Lock says, horrible round, horrible round. We have to throw them in occasionally. Um, you'll be glad it's over. Glad it's over. If you think that's horrible, Rome, wait for the next one. Right, so how has that mixed things up? Uh, Barry Four and Home Alone both on 38. Baz and Rachel, Rollsies, Sex Brent, Dibrange, Trust, Jolton the Wheelies on 37. Smugsy, DDBs, Sweet Baby Cheeses, Kentish Pierce, Smoky and Bandies. That's your top 12. Still very close though. Um, Quiz Marple loved that round. Consistently, Poop says pan pipes in September. <laughs> Why not? Why not have pan pipes? We haven't had pan pipes for ages. Let's do pan pipes. Bagpipes. Why not? Let's do bagpipes again. I know you all loved bagpipes. Anyway, um, oh, and now numbers. All number quest. All number questions. Tequila Mockingbird says, uh, "Reminds me of having the old Nokia trying to make ringtones." <laughs> okay, are we ready for? Numbers. Here we go. How many planets make up our solar system? Seven, eight, nine, or ten? Rune says, how about a yodeling round in October? There we go. Some Road, Hal, Quizzy Bank, Valiant Ducks, Team Nesbitt, Quizzy Mojo, and Tone all getting this one. How many planets make up our solar system? Eight. Eight planets. Um, Pluto's not counted anymore. Chilton and the Wheelies and the other 21 of you that went with it. Um, yeah, if you type, I've checked this, if you type into Google how many planets in the solar system, it confirms eight. Pluto is now a dwarf planet, not a planet. Um, right, number 42. Numbers. How many countries are part of the EU? 
13, 20, 27. Nick saying, which solar system are we on about there? Uh, our solar system. <laughs> How many countries in the EU? Simply the best. James Sorbo, Skittles, Quizimodo, Helen, and Cottontown all getting this. There are 27. Yep, 27 countries in the EU. Um, Smugsy got that one wrong. They went 20. No, 27. Um, I'm not sure if... Is it still 27 now we've left? Yeah, 27. 27. Must have been 28 and then we left. Um, so, it's 27 without the UK. 27 without the UK. Um, I was going to say, I did check the answer on Google yesterday. Right, number 43. Be ready for this one. Be ready. What is 3 minus 7 times 4? 3 minus 7 times 4. Minus 16, minus 25, 16 or 25. Nicholas, simply the best. Rollsies, Kentish Pierce. That's what she said. And Pam and Dave. All oh, getting this one right. It is minus 25. The actual correct answer is minus 25. And um, Bodmas, if you all know what that means, you do your multiplications first. Um, so, yeah, Bodmas. Um, you do byte, order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. <laughs> Nick says it's close to a bloodbath. Um, yeah, so you do 7 times 4. Imagine there's brackets around 7 times 4. You do that first. Um, so it's 3 minus 28. Um, Rune says, when's the gate coming? It's not. I told you it's gate-free quiz. Confident tonight. I am confident tonight. I've uh, got professional in the three weeks since we last did one. Um, anyway, that's messed up. The rolls is it's messed up. Dear Brains Trust. It's... Messed up sweet baby cheeses and Sarah and Stephen lockdown lovers. We still have Barry Four and Home Alone in the top spots, but Baz and Rachel, the Exprints, Rollsies, Dear Brains, Trust Children, the Wheels, DDBs, all very close behind. Rune saying she's heard it before that there's no gate. I promise you, no gate. If you subtract the number of sides of a heptagon from the number of sides of a dodecagon, what answer do you get? A heptagon from a dodecagon. Liz Axon, Spanish Inquisition, Hal, the other rockers, Baz and Rachel, and simply the best all getting this. Nick says he needs a gate to get him out of his misery. <laughs> anyway, that one's five. Yeah, A, heptagon is seven. The decagon is 12. So 12 minus seven. 12 minus seven is five. So. Um, Home Alone answered three. Dibber and Trust answered three. Chilton the Wheelies did. Face Clap, Lockdown Lovers, Chelsea Chiefs and Laurel Drivers all getting that wrong. Shaggy and Balmer went three. So, there we go. One last one on numbers before the bloodbath. Right, 45. What number lies directly opposite the number three on the standard die? Or dice. Um, one, two, four, five. Stefan, quiz you bank. Log out to Xbrent's Quizzy Mode and simply the best getting this. What number lies directly opposite the number three on a dice? It is number four. 77% of you getting that right. The opposite sides on a dice all add up to seven. So three and four, one and six, and two and five. All opposites. Rosie's got that one wrong. They went five. Um, let's push them down. Berry four now on 43. We've got three teams behind them on 42. Baz and Rachel, the experts, home alone. Our top four have all won the quiz before. But this bloodbath will sort. So, that's okay saying the men from the boys, the women from the girls. It's got to. Yeah. It's a toughie tonight. Or maybe not. Um, right, just for Johnny from Norway. This round is slightly different. Each question has multiple correct answers. I do not tell you how many of those answers are correct. Okay, so you have to just press the right answers. Um, 
for each answer you press that is correct, you will get one point. For each answer you press that is wrong, you will lose a point. It is possible to come out of each question having minus points, in which case you'll drop down the leaderboard. Um, so say you answer one correct and three that are wrong, you get minus two points. Um, press the submit button. No one's put it on the chat yet, I'm surprised. Press submit. If you don't press the submit button, select the answers, press submit. If you don't press it, you get zero, okay? And I say every single week, said it in the charity quiz last week, someone forgets to press submit. Do not forget to press submit. Um, Johnny says, great, thanks. Minus points are incoming. Right, are we ready for this? Select all the ones which are right. Um, select all the Olympic sports, trampoline, cricket, BMX racing, squash, tug of war, mountain biking. Select all the ones that are right. Baz and Rachel have got them all. The Squires have Rollsies, Team Nisby, x and number 40 have all of these right. Don't tell you how many until the end. Let's see though. They are trampolining, BMX racing and mountain biking. Cricket, squash and tug of war aren't Olympic sports. Tug of war used to be. 100 years ago but it isn't anymore um so berry four now on 46 not much change Baz and rachel um home alone only got two out of three points there um chilton the wheelie's got two out of three alex and scott and the gang got two out of three so the farm size stop -ins. don't think anyone lost points on that um sweet baby jesus scored none and they went bmx racing squash they went down 17 points from that one Right, are we ready for your next one? Next bloodbath. Here we go. 47. Select all the Looney Tunes characters. All the Looney Tunes characters. Pepe Le Pew, Clara Valcao, Betty Boop, Yogi Bear, Dick Dastly, Speedy Gonzalez. Quizzy Modo's got them all. Quiz Eubank, Shaggy and Valma, Guesswork, My Name's Eka, and the ex Prince have got all these. Looney Tunes characters. So, Pepe Le Pew and Speedy Gonzalez, the only two. Cloud Val Cloud, Disney, Betty Boop, um, Paramount, Yogi Bear is Hannah Barbera, and so is Dick Dastardly. Um, so, Home Alone dropped four. Barry Four still in the lead, one point ahead. Must be getting tense in their house now. Um, DDBs have dropped down five spots. They didn't score any points. Um, Sarah and Steve just got one. Face Clap just got one. Lockdown Lovers, Chelsea Chiefs, Valiant Ducks, Fitness Not Witness, Store got one. So, are we ready for your next one? Here we go, number 48. It's like the Hugh Jackman movies, American Psycho, Les Mis, Van Helsing, The Prestige, X-Men, Days of Future Past, and The Fighter. Oh, you're all slow answering this one. Quiz Eubank have got them all. Number 40 have the Rollsies, Quizimodo, Cake and Prosecco, Tequila Mockingbird, and Stefan have all of them correct. Big points up for grabs here. Four points up for grabs. Um, lots of teams have just got three. It's not enough to, for Berry Four to lose their lead. They only got three out of four. Les Mis, Van Helsing, Prestige, and X Men: Days of Future Past are the four films. American Psycho and The Fighter are Christian Bale films. Um, so Kentish Pierce now jumped up to fourth. Um, we've got the X Brents in third, Baz and Rachel in second, Smugsy in fifth. And DDB's, Rollsies, Dibrains, Trust, Simply the Best, Jolton the Wheelie, Sailor Beeves, and Quizzy Modo. Um, and then Quizzy Bank, Home Alone, Alex Scott and the Gang, and number 40. So close between these teams. Barry Four. I wouldn't like to be you guys tonight. It's always scary holding that position through a bloodbath. 49. Select the 90s Charlie's Angels actresses with Oda Ryder, Lucy Liu, Neve Campbell, Uma Thurman, Gwyneth Paltrow. No answers come in. Oh, Skittles. Quizzy Bank, number 40. Consistently Poop, Runa, and Three Dings all come in with answers. They all got them right. Let's see. 
Just one. Yeah, just one. Lucy Liu is the only one. It was Lucy Liu, Cameron Diaz, and um, Drew Barrymore were the ones. So, very full how the lead. Smugsy scored none. Rosy scored none. They dropped five. Alex Scott have dropped. Taylor Bees have dropped. My name's Eckers dropped. They got none. So, lots of teams creeping up. <laughs> Fitness Not Witness was singing the Destiny's Child theme song for that one. Yeah, was it Drew, Cameron D, what was it, Drew, Lucy, Lou, Cameron D and Destiny? There you go. Um, are we ready for the last one? Barry Four in the lead, but Baz and Rachel x Prince, Kentish Pierce, DDBs could take this, potentially. Could be anyone's. Um, and Helen just pulling me up, Charlie's Angels come out in 2000. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> okay, the 2000 film, Charlie's Angels. All right, there is a remake at the moment that sounds. Right, are we ready? Number 50. So, oh, select countries in... Oh God, I cannot spell. Select countries in the list of the 10 richest countries in the world. Apologies for my terrible spelling there. Uh, Luxembourg, Germany, Norway, USA, Canada, and UAE. Five uh, the countries, the ten richest countries in the world. Select ones in that. No one has got all of them. Not a single team has all of these. This will be interesting. Luxembourg, Norway, and USA. Norway are richer than America. Norway is sixth. I think America is seventh. Luxembourg is the richest country in the world, um, according to the Financial Times. Um, yeah, Germany, Canada, and UAE are all outside the top 10. Um, but yeah, I don't know how that well's calculated, but you know, Norwegians, wow, you loaded. All right, then, would not like to be the very four right now. Let's take a look at the results. Here we go. It's Barry Four have done it. They held that one point lead. They held the experts and Baz and Rachel back. Kentish Pierce in fourth tonight. Um, I'm sure the Berries are cheering, jumping up and down in the lounge tonight. Um, we've got DDB's then Smugsy, Simply the Best, Home Alone, Chalton the Wheelies, Quiz Eubank, Durbrains Trust, Lockdown Lovers, Quizzy Modo, Valley Ducks, Rollsies, Fitness Not Witness, My Name is Eka, uh, Mark and Son. Liz Axon, Alex Scott and the gang, Sailor Beeves, Number 40, Cake and Prosecco, Sweet Baby Cheeses, Charlie Chiefs Logouts, The Other Rockers, Farmside Stoppin', Sarah and Steve, and Serious Quizens are your top 30. <laughs> Alfie and Linda said disaster at last. Um, so that's it. That is it. Thank you guys. So where's my dad done tonight? Um, did they like it? Nicholas finished in 84th. Um, I mean, Dan Pat finished in 77th. Um, Spanish Inquisition says more numbers, please. And no music. Who thought thanks for tonight? Very good luck with the baby. Please, can we see a photo next time? Uh, yes, you can, hopefully. Um, log allowance. How much had you drunk when you wrote that question? I wrote it this morning on my phone in mobile Excel. So, yeah, it's not the best. Uh, <laughs> Nick saying, thanks for another great quiz. Consistently, for you, Nick, we did rubbish just for you. Um, <laughs> They said should be in the pub on Thursday too. Not all four of us though. Uh, be Berry one and Khan's one. Oh, I've got to see Alex again. And um, Dream Team up. And um, we could see you both. So, yeah, if you are coming into the pub on Thursday, pre-book your tables. Um, they did. I don't know how this happened, but they were turning people away um, on Thursday night when they were phoning up to book last minute because all the tables are gone. Um, so yeah, phone and book. Um, Jeff says, thanks again, great quiz, and not a bad finish for us too. Already looking forward to next month. Smugsy says, uh, well done to the famous four. Hope all goes well with the new quizzer. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you for coming back. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing you all again. Missed you all. Missed the Monday night. Um, don't miss writing these things, I'll be honest. I hate writing them. <laughs> it fills me with dread writing a quiz. Uh, but... Right, so, oh, apparently as well. Here we go. We've got a Mexican. Shaggy and Velma 2. Um, 93rd and only started playing partway through. But um, welcome to Shaggy and Velma 2. 
over in Mexico. So we've actually hit Mexico, Norway, France, UK tonight, and I don't know where else. Let's have a look at the flags. But amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, Alfie Lynn said, can you bring back Let's Get Ready to Rumble at the end? I can, except I left it running all night once and Google gave me a strike. So I, um, yeah, I've, I've got a strike, which basically means three strikes and you lose your ability to stream. <laughs> um, consistently, Pooh says, I hope everything goes okay with Ginny and your baby. Rune says, thanks. Best of luck with the Labour Party. Uh, Team Nuzzi, thank you, missed you. Um, and Two Wise You Are says, M1. <laughs> nice one. Um, Thank you, guys. I'll see you all, hopefully, with a little baby attached to me. Uh, in a month's time, it will be on the... Oh, quite late. Into the 6th of September. 6th of September. So I will see you all then. Have a great month. Enjoy the rest of the summer. Um, and, yeah, catch up, catch up soon. Um, don't forget, I will be in the pub every Thursday, except when the baby comes, um, doing the quiz in the pub. And Helix says, thanks for the quiz music film and not reading questions ruins my chances once again <laughs> all right i'm off anyway guys good night i'll see you all next month and thanks again for taking part <laughs>